from security vulnerabilities to not acknowledging it fast enough and having people on Twitter yell at you to having your CEO get into arguments with other billion dollar tech company CEOs on Twitter. This has been one of the craziest weeks for Next.js developers. If you're new to my channel, my name is Melky. I'm a senior machine learning software engineer over at Twitch, where I primarily work with Go backend systems. But I've worked with Next.js before and I have to give you my thoughts on this absolute crazy week but also on the sentiment of the Next.js framework moving forward and if you should use it or not. So stick around until the end of the video. All right, so let's start off with the actual vulnerabilities. You can see here the official Next.js account on Twitter posted Next.js 15.2.3 includes a security vulnerability patch. We recommend updating to 15.2.3 or backported patches. If you cannot update, we have included guidance on how to protect your application. You can see here it's a CVE 2025-29927 and the account posted this at 11.59 a.m. March 22nd. Now, vulnerabilities happen all the time. This isn't the first CVE. These things happen. But the reason why people are upset is because it took Next.js and the Vercel team a long time to actually acknowledge this. Am I crazy or has there been zero acknowledgement or explanation from Vercel and Next.js on the recent middleware vulnerability? I'm not sure how exploitable it is, but it's still a critical vulnerability, ranked 9.1, and my tweet shouldn't be the main way people learn about this. And the tweet Pilcrow is referencing is the one that he posted at 12.34 a.m. And to my knowledge, this was like the first tweet that really made waves on any sort of vulnerability in Next.js at all. And I actually recommend uh, watching this video by Fireship the Goat, uh, Next.js Rocked by Critical 9.1 Level Exploit, where he basically talks about how you can use the middleware. And you can see here in this example that the middleware is used to check if a user is paid or not, because in this diagram that he has here, you can see this section, the auth and logging is the middleware. You have the request, you have the response. So let's say this is a protected route, like a subscriber route or something, which by the way, if you haven't already, click subscribe. It helps the channel out. We're almost at 50K subscribers. But you can see here, this exploit basically allows anyone to bypass the entire middleware and just get to the paid route, even if you are not a paid subscriber. Guillermo Rauch, the CEO of Vercel, even acknowledges the fact that says Vercel stands for a better, more secure web. We missed the mark on how we communicate about this CVE, especially with industry partners. We'll iterate our coordination and disclosure processes will strengthen as a result. I truly appreciate the outpouring of feedback from the community, which again, shit happens. You know, if every time someone makes a mistake, I do think will be too hard on each other. So this was a pretty good response on, yeah, you missed a vulnerability. You weren't the first ones to update or talk about it, but hey, at least you guys clean up the mess. You can even see working on this ASAP. No one's perfect. This happens. I think at this point, you won't even be watching this video because it would be just, okay, cool, let's move on. But this is where things get more interesting. We'll start with the CEO of Replit, this um, Jad Massad. Again, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing anyone's name, but he is the CEO of Replit. And if you don't know, Replit is a pretty successful company. Uh, last valuation at 1.16 billion on April 25th, 2023. And you can see he made this tweet saying, if I was Vercel CEO, I'll be spending all my time supporting customers and community and patching a security vulnerability that Vercel sat on for days. This honestly tried to spin into a marketing event, silently changed their logs, still haven't provided clarity for customers. But what is he doing? Calling me a liar for pointing out the obvious that Next.js is primarily made to run on Vercel. And he's referring to this tweet here uh, a day earlier than all this kind of went down, where he's quote tweeting a user asking, are there any plans to support Next.js in the future? And he basically just says Next.js is primarily made for Vercel and requires a ton of investment to make it work outside, which does have, have some truth to it. And then the CEO, Top G, replied with, hard to believe someone would lie this much and this publicly, especially a company that barely contributes to OSS, but you're right on both accounts. But this reply by Guillermo on this initial message by Amjad, I think definitely caused this effect that Amjad wanted to quote tweet the situation about Vercel and say, you know, what is he doing? Why is he attacking me? But they're kind of truthfully attacking each other, which is very rare to see the CEOs of big companies going at it. 
but the Rublet CEO wasn't the only one. You can see here during that situation, there was a tweet here by Brandon that stated, seems like a fairly relevant time to launch this. Convert your Vercel Next.js project automatically and deploy to Cloudflare. And you can see Matthew Prince, the CEO of Cloudflare, said, save money, get better performance, and work with a company that actually cares about security. Hashtag no brainer. And this is like gloves come off. This is straight up. I'm going for the throat. This is pretty intense. Uh, quote tweeting it out in the public to a giant following that Matthew has almost 100,000 followers is definitely something you have to be careful about because of the responses you may get. And there's responses that he did get from the CEO of Vercel, Guillermo, which states, Cloudflare is responsible for one of the worst security disasters in internet history. We tried to use your product and had non-stop incidents and how to move off. We mitigate DDoS attacks you proxy to us daily. And despite your cheap shots, we're engaging with your team for better collaboration in the future. This guy added the cloud bleed wiki link. This guy had annotations, a bibliography. I mean, Guillermo was ready for this reply, cocked and ready for years, just waiting for Matthew Prince to slip up and make the first move. And in that same thread, you can see that uh, another user asked, can you launch something so I don't need Cloudflare? And Guillermo really just went, off. I mean, this is just like going off my guy. You already don't need Cloudflare, which is what probably triggering East Dakota's Matthew Prince, that's his username, the CEO of Cloudflare, anxiety and having him resort to childlike tactics and memes. And he just lists a bunch of stuff that they have. Again, I seeing this, I was like, this is insane. I forgot about the vulnerability altogether. I for, forgot about any of the communications. I just saw this. I'm like, this is really happening. CEOs are really going at it. And it just really makes the whole scenario of a vulnerability that, again, happens all the time. They could have done better communication, they acknowledge it, but it really just bubbled up. And you can see that other companies really pounced on the opportunity, especially with Cloudflare. I think with Replit, it was kind of started beforehand with Guillermo's initial comment on the CEO of Replit's initial quote tweet, but hey, it really snowballed into this warfare tactics of Vercel versus the world. But I want to switch the gears here and talk about a different topic, which kind of was catapulted by Catalin that stated, before you pick next yes, next time, ask yourself if you really need it. You may do well enough with just React and V. And if you really need a framework, look into React Vero 7 or Tanstack. The last thing I'm going to say about Next, because I don't want to look like a hater, basically saying, double down. Are you sure you want to use Next? Because this interesting tweet, which was a reply from Guillermo's earlier comment, basically said, Guillermo, the truth is also that the sentiment of Next.js is shifting. Next.js is turning from a things just work into a better stay away from it kind of a framework. Now, I don't think that's necessarily or entirely true, but there is definitely some truth to it. Because in just the previous week, there was a user here, John Yeo, who basically said, finally ripped out next just for V after users are app is slow. Difference is night versus day with an example here of them using V and then them using uh, next JS, which again, I think Lee Rob also decided to come kind of jump in and hear the situation, provide some clarity. But I also had the same situation. I have this app, resueai.io, that helps you build resumes. And I decided I'll be migrating it off of Next.js. I'm going to just use V to spin up a types of React project and use React Router DOM. And that's it. And a lot of people give me React, uh, different comments about use Tanstack, whatever. But I felt the pain of Next.js. And also, during that migration, it actually was pretty difficult to migrate away of Next.js. Like it was almost easier to spin up a brand new project than to really tear out the Next.js framework from my application. So that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Are you, what's your opinion on Next.js? Has it changed? Do you use Next.js all the time? Is it something you're gonna continue to use? Or have you kind of faced some pain points and obstacles with the framework that has eventually made you just migrate off of it like I did and the other John did as well. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Let me know what overall you think of this entire situation of Vercel versus other tech companies and how this looks for them in the overall respect of the world. Let me know as always guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay beautiful, stay 
I don't know, shifting, shipping, whatever, whatever you guys watch. Oh, and that new meme of that guy who like is putting his face in bowls of water, do that. Peace.